Hello thinkers. Welcome to ThinkX Academy. This is the machine learning playlist and in this playlist we have so far studied the Gaussian naive base algorithm. We have studied how we can do the classification using the Gaussian naive base. In this tutorial we are going to use Python to implement that. All right, so let's get started. The first task is that you should have installed the Jupyter Notebook. I'm using the Jupyter Notebook and by default, it installs the sklearn, which is the scikit-learn kit. So if you do not have the Jupyter Notebook, I will suggest you to first install the scikit-learn kit because we are going to use the library knife base and Gaussian knife base to implement this. So basically implementing the Gaussian knife base is pretty easy. It's only three to four lines of code. So let's do this. Now you can see in the first step here, I have created X and Y. X is the is a NumPy array. You can see this is the NumPy library and we're using np.array to build an array which will contain all these items. So you can see that first one represents height. This one is the weight and this one is the foot size. So in the previous tutorial, we have just taken, we have seen a data set of the, of all these features, which includes the height, weight and foot size. So this is the same data set here. So 6, 80, 12 is one record and similarly 5.92, 190, 11. And you can see this is our whole data set. Now corresponding to these features, we have some labels. So you can see 6, 180, 12, this record is of a male, right? So Y is basically the class. So the class labels are male and female and you can see how I have represented them. Now the next part is to assign a classifier, which is basically a Gaussian knife base classifier. So in this way, you can see I have created a variable CLF, which is equal to Gaussian naive base, which will, which is basically a library, which will help us to do the, uh, to implement the Gaussian naive base. All right. So next step is to do the training of our data set, right? And basically in training, we just use the formula of the Gaussian naive base, but instead of using that, we can just use the library. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just let's do the training first clf dot fit function is used to do the training and we will supply the features which is x and y in the function fit. So in this way we can do the training of this data set which is the features and the labels. I will just provide it in the classifier which is the Gaussian naive base classifier and fit x y are the attributes or the features and the class labels so after training it's time that we do the testing of the data so we can use the clf dot predict function which will help us and do the prediction and inside this function what we will actually do is we are going to provide it with a numpy array and let's say we want we have to supply some sample data to it so let's supply six feet as the height and 130 as the weight and eight as the foot size so you can see this is basically the testing data this is the sample data so after predicting uh, after running all the classification because we have built a classifier which is clf it will do the prediction on this classifier with this sample data and we've already studied all the working behind all of this we have studied the uh, probability concepts also so it's easy to implement than to uh, see the working behind scenes of these code right so uh, this will make a prediction and it will correspond to some label which is male or a female so this will actually print um, a class label we are going to print that right so inside of the print function i will put that so now if i will hit control enter you can see in the output we have female because after running the classification it uh, it will it was able to find out that the 
posterior of female was greater than the posterior of male so that's why the classifier has uh, returned the female uh, let's change some of the uh, let's say i will give five let's change this data and here i will write 110 and i'm just choosing any random number here like this let's run this again and again it will be a female all right so let's again change this all right so we will have to see some data here okay let's change it to 6 180 12 right 6 180 and 12 i will hit control enter and now you can see it is giving me a male category and uh, for some data uh, it will give a male and for some uh, it will give female on the basis of running the whole probability right so in this manner we can uh, do the training and testing of the gaussian knife base if we want to uh, find out the score let's find out the score of this whole classifier uh, we can use the clf dot score function and inside of this i will provide x comma y which basically finds the accuracy or the score of this model so if i will hit control enter you can see the score is basically one so in this way we can do the gaussian knife based classification using the gaussian nb library and the sklearn.knife based library so that's all for this tutorial thanks for watching